And it's this sense of wonder that is a key objective of the Mount Honor Program. To have students foster a certain quality of mind in which the mind never ceases to wonder about our world and about the people who inhabit this world. Today's our fifth cut, our fifth chance at the reset button, as it were. And today's cut, our fall honors lecture, is aimed at a short course on the long history of intellectual and moral thought on the idea of the good life. There's war in the Middle East, there's disease in West Africa. What do you mean the good life is important? Well, all of those kinds of issues, which change from day to day, month to month, year to year, they all lead back to these same profound questions. How should we live? How should we be with one another? How should we regard it? Any definition of the good life must be positive. Now, this doesn't mean that it must be happy. This doesn't mean that it must be optimistic. Good life must be social. We are social beings. Aristotle calls us bios politicos. That means uh, political beings. That means that we cooperate. We work in cooperation with others. Good life must be varied. The good life must be intentional. This is Socrates. Socrates said the unexamined life is not worth living. So I think that the, the vision of the good life that I've been trying to advance here, a life of excellence, of serenity, of service, and of freedom is best summarized by the great 20th century poet Frank O'Hara, who said, grace to be born and to live as variously as possible.